Hi guys, Brian Skirrell, I am back with another video and today I've got something a little special for you. Mystery box things, well, it's more like a mystery parcel. Uh, I've seen people open like different ones and they had some like pretty cool or weird stuff in them. Most of the people who do it have spent like $500 and all that lot. I don't really have that money, <laughs> not gonna lie. I bought one for a tenner and yeah, let's just have a little goosey, see what's inside it. Eh? First thing that we've got is some paint brushes. Is this going to be themed? Is it all going to be arts and crafts stuff? Because I'm not going to lie, I'm not that arts and crafty. Oh, they look like unicorn horns at the bottom. This, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Oh, this is big. We have got... Uh, Surreal Life Pendant Lamp. I don't know what that is really. But let's open it and see what exactly this thing is because it's just blagging me. If it'll open. Alright, there we go. Box open. Uh, uh, what the hell is this? Um. I literally have no clue as to what this is. Like, well, it takes batteries by the looks of it. So I'm guessing it is like some sort of lamp. <laughs> but I have not got the foggy. Just, just look at it. Like, what the hell is that? We got party flags. Uh. Yeah, they're just little flags for waving about. Uh, that's it. That's literally it. We get some party flags, some brushes, and some weird ass lamp thing. Well, that was short. So yeah, guys, since that didn't go so well, uh, I thought we'd finish up by doing a Twitter scenario thread. I know it seems like a bit weird considering the topic we began with, but hopefully this is enjoyable. And the thread that we're going to do is called Asylum. So yeah, let's, let's just get straight on to it. October 31st, Bend, Oregon, 11.42pm. You are Damien. I'm Damien. Hi. You and your gir girlfriend, Kylan, decide to wander the woods on Halloween night. Well, straight away, I'm a moron. It's Halloween and I've decided to go into the woods. Well, I'm dead. We know that. I'm going to die. Me. Uh, let's, give it, let's, give them an let's give them both accents. Babe, it's not safe to be out here. There's been four murders in this area in the past five months. Gylan. Don't be scared. Let's play. Uh, are you playing the game with her? If you choose yes, click here. If you choose no. Well, I'm going to be smart. No. Thread done. Uh, you let your girlfriend run off and go missing. You failed. <laughs> It's not really a failure. She was the dumb bitch who wanted to fucking go and do it. Right, here we go. We've got back to it. Uh, let's let's play a stupid fucking game. I know I'm swearing a lot, but... Anyone who decides to do this shit on Halloween is just stupid. You're asking for your own horror film. Right. She says you'll have to find her. Then she begins to run deep into the woods. View. How was that scary? Shut up. Click to continue. You begin to have flashbacks of when you chased her dad through the woods the day before he went missing. Oh, so we killed we killed the dad apparently. Well, that's the way it looks. You start to worry Kylan may have went too far out. Which way are you going to go to find her? Left or right? Uh I'm right handed. Let's go right. Right, we went right. 
you arrived at a seamless, seam, seemingly abandoned building and you decide to go in the front door. It's a mental asylum. So now we've ran through the woods. Now we're going into a mental asylum. The Bloody brain dead moron I am. You enter the building and it's extremely quiet. You hear footsteps coming your way. What are you going to do? Hide or stay in your place? I'm out. I'm dipping down, mate. Come on, hide. You chose to hide. You've hidden away inside of a vent. Lovely vent. While inside the vent, you crawl until you look down and notice a doctor forcing a needle into a paralysed patient. Oh, please don't show me a needle actually going into someone. Oh. View. Oh. Don't like needles. What do you do? Help or keep crawling? For help, I'm gonna die. But I could keep crawling. Like, do I do the moral thing and help someone in need? Well, for all I know, he's, he's a doctor doing his job. Oh, I'm going to keep crawling. Oh, it's harsh. I'm leaving someone, but you know what? I'm saving myself. You cl Right, you keep crawling. You fell out of the vent and broke every bone. Rest in peace, you're dead. Oh, well. Well, well cheers for that. Right, I guess we're helping. You've gotten out of the vent quietly. Which tool are you using to kill the doctor? He's, he's just working on a patient. Come on. Uh, click here for knife or click here for the scissors. Knife's more effective, isn't it? Like you can get straight into the jugular or something. But to be fair, you can do the same with scissors. Let's go for a knife. You stabbed him in the neck. The patient shockingly gets up and sticks you with a needle. Lovely, I've just saved you. Bastard. Uh, what am I doing? Running after her or try to escape? Uh, let's try to escape. You begin seeing things due to the needle you were injected with. So shit's trippy. You collapse. You awake, strapped down, with a doctor standing over you. Your first question is, where's Kylan? No, my first question is, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Doctor tells you not to worry, you're just feeling sick. You look over your right, and you notice your father in a picture. Your mind begins to race. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing with a picture of my dad? Doctor leaves out of the room, what do you do? Attempt to squeeze out of the constraints or scream and beg for him to let you go. Scream and beg for him to let you go because that's the smart thing to do. You've gotten out of the room. Woo! I'm out. Right, now what? You come across a room that says Kylan's room. Do you go in? It says Kylan's room. Lovely. So this bitch has been mental from the start. Uh, no, I don't go in. You were caught by three guards roaming the halls. You were thrown into a room. You failed. The end is near. Lovely. Cheers for that. So that's three fails we've got. I guess we're going into Kylan's room then. You notice there's an entire detective map relating to your father and yourself on the wall. You begin to realise Kylan set you up. What a bitch. Just horrible. Carolyn appears behind you. She explains that your father ne never disappeared and he was sent here to the asylum. Double crossing bitch. Also, now that your father is dead, she never wants to lose another piece of him. Welcome, Damien. This is your new home, says Carolyn. Uh, what do you do? Punch her or run? I'm smacking her in the face. You knocked her out and then ran out of the room. So if I'd have just ran, basically, she'd, she'd have shouted or something and that doctor guy would have popped out and knocked me out. 
there's a guard coming, what do you do? Fight him or hide? <laughs> well, if he's already seen me, then there's no point in hiding. Fight him. He beats your ass and then he snaps your neck. Rest in peace, you're dead. A little Stewie Griffin throwing me a rose. I guess we're hiding even though he's seen me. Right. You hid inside the curtains. I I I'm hiding in curtains. Am I dumb? The guard has passed. You continue to look for an escape. Nah, there's no way. Right, he's passed me, but he's noticed I'm there. I'm behind curtains, for God's sake. The doctor screams out your name. You know, Damien, you're just as difficult as your father was. Lovely. Oh, needles. I don't like them. Kylan enters the room. And enters the room a bloody mess. I, uh, I don't know if I'm reading that wrong. Dad, he's confused. He doesn't know that he needs me, she says to the doctor. So she, she's absolutely batty. Like, she's gone. You notice the doctor left a needle containing a strange sub substance sat on the table next to you. Who will you use it on? Right, Kylan's mental, like, she can knock me out or whatever. So, yeah, there's there's that. But the doctor's the one who's actually going to be doing shit to me. So, we're, not, we're, we're taking out the doctor. You injected the doctor with a needle. He passes out and you make a run for it. You found your way out of the asylum door. Out of the side door of the asylum. How are you escaping? The asylum van or your car? They've probably set up my car. Here's the thing. They were expecting me to jump in my car if I got out. We're going in the asylum van. You popped inside the asylum van and took off. Right, I'm speeding off. You made it three miles away from the building. The van ran out of gas and you were caught. You failed. What? Muppet. I guess we're jumping in my car. Uh, here we go. Jump in my car. What's this be? There's no winning. You return to the woods, running towards your car. Oh, great. I'm back in the woods. You've come across an axe you could use for your protection. Do you pick it up? Yes or no? No. It's just slowing me down. I don't want to bloody stop to pick up an axe and next thing I know they've jumped up behind me. You left the axe behind and continue running towards your car. You got inside and rapidly drove off. You're driving ridiculously fast and then you see this. What do you do? Well, it, it's a ghostly thing. I, I'm, I'm going to keep going. It was all in your head. No one was ever there. You speed up while driving. You made it back to the city at 6.05. Congratulations, you escaped the asylum. Well, yeah, there we go. We did it. We got out. But yeah... Here's a little tip. Don't go to an asylum on Halloween night in the middle of bloody night. Unless you're a moron. But yeah, uh, that is where I'm going to leave it today. I'm sorry that the unboxing didn't really go so well. Uh, I'll still put it in so you can see what I got and like, how crap it actually was. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video regardless. Like the end bit, that, that was pretty fun. Uh, if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Um... I would say a comment if you want to see another unboxing, but the truth is that that was crap, so what's the point? <laughs> but comment if you'd like me to do another one of these threads, because like I said, they're fun. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always stay up to date with my videos, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.